Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at Windows Build 22000.51 on the Raspberry Pi. So this is currently in the Insider Dev channel, so it is not a final release, but anyway, we will be taking a look at it today. So first of all, let's go to About Your PC, and you can see my specs right here. So right here, you can see specs right here. So we have the processor, so it's a BCM2711. And so it's running at two gigahertz. So that's up from the stock 1.5. And then we can see RAM and other useful info right here. And then if we go to Windows specifications, we can see I'm running the Pro version. And so this isn't exactly right right here. Anyway, I have the OS build right here. And so that is the information about my system. So we will close that down and let's go to Task Manager. So if we right click on the Start button, we can now get there like that. So CPU usage is lower than it has been in the past. If you have watched my other video on these, it was a lot higher then. So I think that the newer builds are are making more use of the CPU here. And then RAM we can see right here. It, it looks like we're using a lot for having probably for having not really anything open, but it actually doesn't do too bad. And then I'm running this from an SSD and you can see the information there and things like that. So now let's close down task manager and let's test out some things. So let's go to Microsoft Edge which is optimized for this ARM architecture. So if you use something like Google Chrome, it's not going to be optimized for this architecture and it's going to run a lot slower. However, there is a program that's basically the same as Chrome, Chromium, and it is optimized for the ARM architecture. So let's try out some browsing here. Try out some video playback right here. So let's just load up my channel first of all, and then we will try to play a video right here. So let's make this full screen. Anyway, there we got stats for nerds. And so if we go here, we can, let's just try the this, the high definition, that's what I have my display resolution set at. Let's just try playing that. It's doing pretty good on that setting, really. It dropped a few frames, but it's really not that bad. If we go to full high definition, we will see how it does. That is dropping a lot of frames. We will see when I get to a point where I'm moving so stuff around if it, if it does anything bad. Yeah, that didn't pull up super smooth, that start menu there. So if you just stick to high definition, I think you will be fine, but going any higher than that may result in bad video playback. So we don't have proper graphics drivers yet for Windows on Raspberry, so that is why it's doing that. But let's just try out some more web browsing because just because the graphics don't work very well doesn't mean that none of it will, because it actually does pretty good. So we will just head over to Raspberry Pi's website. That loaded up fairly quick. And now let's just go to all products. And we can see our products here. And if you keep in mind this is running on the Raspberry Pi, 
It seems like it's running pretty good. If we go to Raspberry Pi Pico, yeah, it loads up pretty well and everything like that. If we go over to these other websites where they have, where you can buy it, Yeah, it's loading up pretty good. So, web browsing seems pretty good on the Raspberry Pi, but just for an experiment, let's try Google Chrome. This is loading very slowly. And there, finally, it loaded up. So there are other browsers optimized for ARM like Firefox, but Microsoft Edge is also optimized for low RAM devices. I would say that it is the best browser to use on the Raspberry Pi running Windows. Or to raspberrypi.org again. And you can definitely tell it is a lot slower. So we will just do the same thing. Let's head over to all products. Raspberry Pi Pico. So if we just close that out, we can see we have some other things. So there are some other things in this operating system. So this is an ARM operating system, like I mentioned earlier. However, with emulation, you can run regular apps. And then there also is a new Microsoft Store, so you can get a lot of apps from the Microsoft Store. There are constantly new ones coming in, and so you can get, you know, even some of the open source apps in the Microsoft Store now because of the new thing that they are doing with that. So about this build, you will need to update it because it will be the point one release when you first turn it on. And so the point five one has these new features. And so you just have to sign up for the Insider thing and then you can get that. It's kind of a complicated mess of things, but you will get a better build. And you will keep getting updates to the build. Anyway, so we have some things that we can test out like this. Let's just go to paint for right now. I know this is going to run very good, but I just want to show you. So we can see almost no lag right here, obviously because this has been around for a long time, maybe even since Windows 1. Anyway, we can see this right here. I don't think that this would be optimized for ARM. Anyway, so we have things like that. We have just the normal Windows apps. This is a full version on, of Windows. So yeah, we have all, all the normal things that come in Windows. And so if we test out some more things, I have user benchmark. This is the new file explorer right here. And if we go to user benchmark, this is a benchmark program and it benchmarks pretty much like everything on your computer. So it will do your CPU, your RAM, your graphics, your storage, all things like that. So here are the results of that benchmark. We can see things like this right here. And so the CPU is performing above expectations because of that overclock. Anyway, the, the SSD is performing below expectations, probably because it's going through a USB adapter. But then we have the RAM, and it's performing below potential. I'm not exactly sure why, but that is about typical for a Raspberry Pi. 
So if you compare the points of things to other computers, you can get an idea of the performance right here. Now you can install these just like a regular Windows on Raspberry installation, link in the card. And so you just go to uupdump.net and if you go to the latest dev channel version, it will have this one right here. So it's really pretty easy to install. But anyway, that is how you do it. And then you will have a new setup experience. And so, yeah, until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time.